Rooster Teeth News is brought to you today by Hulu Plus. Hulu Plus lets you watch thousands of hit shows anytime, anywhere. Get an extended free trial when you visit HuluPlus.com slash Rooster Teeth. What's up, guys? I'm Ashley Jenkins, and following the delay of both Watch Dogs and the crew into their next fiscal year, Ubisoft's shareholders have thrown a tantrum and their stocks dropped 25% in one day. Because of the delays, Ubisoft lowered their sales forecast by $540 million. But they also blame lower than expected performance from Splinter Cell Blacklist and Rayman Legends. Keep in mind that that $540 million hasn't exactly gone up in smoke. Most of it has just moved into Ubisoft's next fiscal year, and they still have huge expectations for Watch Dogs. They think they'll be able to move 6.2 million copies based on the number of pre-orders they have so far. Pokemon X and Y is having a few tiny issues as well. Well, one issue, really. And it's not so tiny. Gamers have recorded a game-breaking glitch that occasionally occurs when attempting to save when out and about in Lumio City. When it happens, your entire save will be corrupted and you'll have to start the story all over. Sounds bad, right? So don't risk it. It's been reported across both X and Y versions and across multiple regions, so consider yourself warned and just don't save in the city. And while we're on a bad news streak, Microsoft is delaying the option for gamers to use real names instead of gamer tags on Xbox One, so it won't be in when the console launches in November. A Microsoft rep says, while real identities continue to be a part of our plan for the experience on Xbox One, at launch, customers will continue to search for friends using their gamer tags. Our teams are working hard to deliver a quality experience for Xbox One. This means prioritizing some features and sometimes postponing others for a later update. While some gamers are strongly anti-name, there are also those who believe that playing under real names and therefore slightly reducing the anonymity of online play will lead to more positive communities. Though anyone who's followed along comments around on Facebook can tell you it's not exactly a guaranteed formula. Sony is also planning on offering PlayStation 4 gamers the option of using real names, and it appears that that's still on track for their launch. If you've already bought Flower, Flow, or Sound Shapes on PS3 or Escape Plan on Vita, you'll also get PS4 versions for free on November 29th as part of their crossplay feature. And Gearbox has confirmed their Halloween themed Borderlands 2 DLC, TK Baja's Bloody Harvest, will be available October 22nd. The DLC, which is the first in a planned series of Headhunter add ons, will send you on a series of new missions in new areas, and you'll fight unique bosses and um, collect their heads to wear as unique skins. And we didn't have time to cover this yesterday, but following the announcement of Kingdom Hearts 2.5 HD Remix, Square Enix has released a new gameplay trailer for Kingdom Hearts 3, which shows just enough to be visually impressive and teases a few new elements of the game. The biggest thing, really, is the integration of Disney park-like rides in combat, from swinging pirate ships to magic roller coasters. Check the description below for a link to the full trailer. And that's the news today. Have you had issues with Pokemon bugs? Do you think real names would improve behavior in online games? Are you stoked for crossplay on PS4? Let us know how you feel about today's news in the comments below. Then visit roosterteeth.com for more of our videos. Our gaming podcast, The Patch, is Poke Obsessed, and Gus wants to show you all his Pokemans. Let him show you them.